Welcome everyone to a video on NA virtual service meetings, things to consider, and an example of how one NA service body's business meetings are facilitated. Keep in mind, this is an example of one facilitator of one service body's experience. This is not the way to do it for everyone, everywhere, every time. This is an example of using a PC utilizing Zoom. Other hardware and video conferencing platforms can be used with the examples presented, some easier, some not so easy, whether from a tablet, a PC, Zoom, BlueJeans, whatever platform. This is not an endorsement of Zoom, PCs, Office software, or anything else that is being used in this. It's just the tools that I have chosen to use. Things to consider when preparing for a virtual service meeting they are much the same as preparing for a physical meeting. It's just more important than ever in a virtual meeting because of the challenges that we take time to prepare. So having an agenda prepared and available to screen share is very useful for keeping everyone on the same page. Having the roles agreed upon ahead of time, uh, facilitator chairperson is pretty self-explanatory. Um, whoever is going to be handling the screen share and screen notes co-hosting Whoever's going to be handling participant management, co-hosting, uh, helping with mute, unmute, lower hands, things like that. Uh, queue manager, making sure we're all on the same page on who's called on next. And this can all be one person, two people, three people, four people, however it needs to be split. However, your service body chooses to split it. Um, I've had it at times where all I did as a vice chair was help lower hands when someone got added to the queue and help mute and unmute as needed. Um, I've done all of these roles uh, last couple times as chair, uh, just because it made most sense at the current moment to do so. Uh, it can be divided however makes sense in any situation though. It just helps to have all these roles decided ahead of time. Having documents and reports sent to whoever's going to be handling the screen share, having that person have all the documents and reports ahead of time is extremely helpful. And the security settings, virtual service meetings have pretty much all the same security considerations as the regular virtual recovery meetings. Um, having a host, co host and co-host only screen share, having participants, whether they can unmute themselves or not. Uh, if you want the chat on or off, if you want a waiting room, um, do you want the recording? And if you do screen share only, and then screen layout for whoever is handling uh, facilitation and screen layout for whoever's handling the screen share helps have that figured out. Where is the meeting screen? Is the screen share visible? Is the participants list visible at all times? Is the chat box visible at all times? And if you're doing multiple roles, having two monitors makes this much easier, but it's not necessary. This can all be handled on one monitor. Just having more screen real estate is helpful. So this is an example of how I've had set up in the past a screen share for facilitating the NEZF. Um, I take a version of the agenda, put it on one part of the screen so it's visible at all times. And this is I, when I'm handling the taking of notes and screen share duties. And as we go through discussion, put down however many yes, no, whatever for the poll, as people go into queue, put the names there and then lower their hands but keeping this on the screen at all times is very helpful. So we all know where we're at in any discussion. We all know what's being talked about. It helps move discussions and decisions forward. In the background, I keep together in a folder for this particular meeting, all the documents that are going to come up, everything that needs to be on hand to possibly screen share or discuss. On to the side, on the screen share part of this video, you can't see it, but on the video recording part um, that I'm using my camera for, you can see that I've got the group chat here and the facilitator, the facilitator and the participants list here. And with two screens, I usually keep the chat the participants list and the meeting control box off onto another screen. And then I just save this entire screen for the agenda and notes and for whatever documents need to be talked about at any given time. I always keep a participants panel open at all times so I can see when someone's raising their hands to either to add to the queue, I can see the votes as they're happening, I can see people to unmute them, to call on them, I can see when people need to be muted, 
but I have access to all the participants at all times. And then above that, I have a chat box, and usually I have a larger chat box than that, so I can see messages coming across. I usually have it larger than this, just like I usually have the participants panel larger than this, because I run this on two screens, and I'm showing this on one screen right now. But the point to this is that I have everything that I need visible at all times. And having everything off to the side visible at all times and sharing as much on the preparation side, making sure that we're all clear on everything at all times, helps the meeting flow much, much smoother. So like an example there, having a proposal that we talked about and voted on on the screen so everyone can see it at the same time and know what we're on the same page with what we're talking about. And then when we move on to the next thing, close that. And the next one being that, I will scroll through it, take notes on it. And everything is set up one click away, easy to get to, pre-organized, so that we talk about how we can better serve the groups, the members, and everyone that we're trying to serve. We spend more time actually discussing that and doing things and less time trying to get on the same page, less time waiting for the next document to come to screen, less time getting organized in the middle of a meeting. So this is where preparation plays a big role in conducting an effective service meeting on a virtual platform. And here in a moment, I'm going to play a recorded portion of a recent service body meeting. A reminder that during the main NEZF meeting, uh, participants, NEZF participants are the only ones that may speak or vote. Um, if there's time at the end of the meeting, uh, we can have introductions, welcome observers, and if, answer any questions if they arise. Uh, cues throughout this will be typically three to four people and then cut. Um, please be mindful of the time, and if what you wish to share has been said, please ask to be removed from the queue. Thank you. Proposal one, that the NEZF do or make a new business proposal at conference. Everyone have this? Okay. All right, initial poll for proposal one. All in favor of this. This is not a final vote, this is initial poll. All in favor of the NEZF creating this new business proposal at WSC 2020, please raise your hands now. As soon as that moves out, I see seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven yes. Please lower your hands. Lower, lower. All right, all opposed to the NEZF making this proposal. All abstaining on this proposal. Please raise your hand now. Okay, please lower your hands. We have consensus on this. Do the two that are abstaining wish to be heard on this? Please raise your hand if you wish to be heard. Okay, with that, is there any objection to that counting as the final vote? Because we have consensus. Okay, the proposal passes. The NECF will formally make this proposal uh, for WSC 2020 new business. Proposal two, does the NECF wish to have standing fellowship development? Not whether it's a subcommittee or a coordinator position, but whether the NECF formally wishes to have fellowship development. Initial poll, all in favor, please raise your hand now. That shows six. All opposed to the NECF having standing FD. Okay, I'll lower that. And all abstaining from the NECF having standing FD. Please raise your hand now. Okay. Discussion now opens. Please raise your hand to go on the queue. You're up. And then when they left, they forgot it, but then they got but they abstained. Thank you. 